Hello, before the video starts, I just want to apologize. My voice was a bit shaky when I was recording this because I was sad. I didn't feel like crying or anything, but I was upset about saying bye to my favorite player. I also want to say that I apologize for any background sounds. I think at one point the phone was ringing in my house. I didn't think it was picked up on the microphone, and I only heard it afterwards, but I wasn't able to find the exact part and re-record it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Yo, what's up? This is Sleet. Welcome to another video. Today it was announced that David Silva would be receiving a statue along with Vincent Company, and now that it's like really just official that he's going, I know he said he was leaving after the 10 years, City were still holding out hope that he might sign an extension. Looks like he's going to Napoli. Sorry, right there I meant to say Lazio, I uh, instead said Napoli for whatever reason, but since I've recorded the video, it's been announced that he's going to Real Sociedad. I'm sure he'll be really happy to be back in Spain, and I'm sure he's going to kill it in that league. But I don't want to talk about any of those things. I just want to celebrate who Silva was as a player and talk about how much he means to City fans. Like, I think David Silva is probably my favorite player of all time. And in this video, I just want to like show a little appreciation for him. What sticks out about Silva is his fight, his passion, how much he wants to win. I know you could say that about a lot of players, that they're competitive, but it's not just the running or the ability to tackle, which a lot of people really underestimate him in, and the fact that he likes to get back and help out. But it's also that he's always looking to try and help his teammates. He's always looking for the killer pass, the assist if it's there and if it's not he knows the best thing to do to, for his teammates he's very intelligent he knows how to keep the ball well and after 10 years at city there are hundreds maybe thousands of like little moments of just genius and magic that he had just quickly thinking over it like there's so many things that come to mind when i think of david silva his first ever goal for city i think it was against blackpool he dribbled past two players very easily then hit it into the top corner and that's just indicative of the kind of player he is. Very good in tight spaces. He has the most amazing control and touch of the ball. He knows exactly where everybody is around him and he knows what to do with it. And even better than his goal scoring is his assists. And I'd say that even though he has over 100 assists for City, what really sticks out to me for him is the pre-assist. He's one of the, like if they counted hockey assists in soccer, I think that would, so would be right up there with people. His ability to just find a key pass and make the assist easy for somebody else is unparalleled. And on top of that, he's got many assists himself. He's just a fantastic player. Personally, I think my favorite assist from Silva came in a game against Wigan. There's like a little drag back that he did past the defender who was swing, like trying to tackle. And then when he moved forward past that defender, two other defenders like collided together as he dribbled past them. And then he found Aguero who finished it off. Of course, there's the game against Man United, the 6-1. And at the very end, the sixth goal, he was able to take it out of the air on the touch. And then on the volley, he was able to slide it through two defenders. That level of vision, that level of composure, not only is it hard to find, but like it's even harder to execute and only a player as special and as talented as somebody like David Silva can do that. There's the assist for the company goal against Man United when we went on to win the title that year. He was the one that swung in that corner the company put in and then the company has the iconic celebration where he goes and runs up to the stands. And on top of all of these moments, what I really like about Silva is that he proves anybody who doubts him wrong immediately. Silva's only 5'7", he's small, he's not very strong looking. But despite this, in the most physical league in the world, in the fastest league in the world, somebody who's small, not the quick, not the fastest, not the strongest, is able to dominate. And he has dominated for 10 years just through his intelligence, through his fight, through his tenacity. Like I said, when I think of David Silva, all, I, all the things that come to mind are just genius moments of magic. He never really lets the team down. He can play all over the field. He started at City, kind of on the left wing. He moved more forward. He did the same thing for Spain. He was able to play like as a center forward, as a left winger, as a right winger, wherever you need him to play, he's smart enough to play there. I think he's even like Spain's like third or fourth top scorer of all time. He's able to play in the middle, of course, as like an attacking midfielder. He was able to play as like a false eight even further back. The year where he was had a shaved head, and I think that was the year that City were the Centurions got the hundred points. Silva was great. And he came up with clutch goals regularly. Near the end of this season in the Premier League, he was knocking in free kicks, which he hadn't even been taking really for like all of his time at City. And it just shows how well-rounded his game is. He can do it anywhere because of how smart he is. He knows where to position himself. He knows what to do. 
and City are going to miss that 100%. You can't really replace him directly. I think maybe Bernardo Silva might move back and will become that kind of replacement. People talk about Foden, and I think Foden has a really high ceiling. But when you look over at their entire career, I doubt that many people will parallel somebody like David Silva for City, and he's fully deserving of this statue. The quotes today from former teammates have all been positive. Everybody talks about how nice of a player he is. Think back to when his son was born, there's a lot of issues. Silva was literally flying to Spain to help out with his wife and with the son who was really struggling and going through a hard time after the son was born. And he would have to deal with all that emotion. And then within the same week or within the same couple of weeks, he would fly back to England and deliver top class performances consistently. And that's something not a lot of players can say, consistently at the top of the game for eight, for 10 years. He's been in City for 10 years and he's been magic ever since he's been here. Does he have off games? Yes, but even in those games, does he always have a, a turn or a moment? In my house, when we're talking about soccer or football, when you see somebody pick up the ball and they have a defender in front of him and they do this thing where they like run around with the ball, like in a circle, like spin and they, with the outside of their foot and they look for options, that's become known as like the David Silva turn in our house. You see a lot of Spanish players do it, but I think he does it the best. He's able to always find space. Even when it looks like there's like three guys on him, his touch will be perfect. He finds a pass. He'll turn out of danger. He'll find somebody. And it's not, it's not just his intelligence in terms of knowing what to do when he has the ball, but also off the ball, he knows exactly where to be. He's probably, the again, maybe the best player I've ever seen do this. That space in between like the midfielders and the defense for the opposition team, Silva is always in there. He lives in that space. He finds passes out wide to an overlapping left back or a winger. He can find passes forward. He can cross the ball to a striker. There's just really, there's nothing he can't do. And I think he's shown during his career that that's the case. And he probably would have been doubted for a lot of his life. Again, when you're somebody short like that, a lot of academies might look down on you. They might find you weak or they might not want to play you, but the talent and the fight is just undeniable. And he's got this fantastic mentality to always be at the top and always stay there. The only trophy he didn't end up winning was the Champions League, but he did get us get City to the semifinal for the first time in their history. He's been a part of the team every time he performs in the Champions League against the toughest opposition. We have great wins against some of the best teams in the world, Real Madrid, where he did play. We have wins against Bayern Munich, where he played. And when you look at City as a successful team in the last decade or maybe decade and a half, David Silva is the star to me in terms of how consistent he was. Torre was great and fantastic. Same with Aguero, company as well. These are all super influential players, but I think Silva trumps them all. I just Honestly, I just feel beyond lucky to have watched him in a City shirt. I feel like opposition fans must all like him. You can't hate David Silva because if you're just a fan of the sport, he is magic. He is that kind of player. El Maggio is what he's called. Everybody else recognizes the talent he has. And even when he's tearing your team apart, you just got to appreciate how brilliant he is. It's the same with other top players like Messi or Ronaldo. Even if you don't like them for whatever reason or you're afraid when your team plays them, you have to appreciate how great they are and how much of a top player they are. Like today, I saw quotes from some opposition players. A lot of people saying that they hated playing against him or they couldn't live with him. I think Rob Green had some quote where he like asked him when City were already winning 6-0 to kind of like slow down against them. And he said that David Silva simply replied that they weren't going to do that and the City team isn't that kind of team. And David Silva isn't that kind of person. He's always pressing. Sorry for the location change. Uh, I got interrupted there near the end of the video. I just wanted to talk about quickly, I actually had the chance to meet David Silva when I was, I think, 12 years old. It was 2013, just after City had won the league. And everything that any players have ever said about him being very kind and such is really nice. I struggle kind of with anxiety and socially I, I'm always finding it difficult to say hi to people, let alone David Silva, who I viewed even then as like a hero to me or any of the other city players that were around that day. And despite him not knowing the best English back then, he was really kind to me. He offered to take a picture. I think I'll put it up now. He took pictures with my whole family. It was just really nice to meet him. And I truly wish him the best of luck in the future with everything that he does. I love David Silva and I hope he has the best time. If you watch the video this far, please like, subscribe, comment, all those good things. And I'll see you later.